everybody. I'm really excited because uh, this is would be episode four or five. I don't know. I've had a few of these today. So um, we've got Anthony Demings here, local guy. He's um, a member of the penthouse, a long, long member. Him and his partner, Mr. David. I love him. And um, since we got this going, he's been insistent. He's like, Jesse, I'm going to be on that damn podcast. Like, I got some things to say. You said it nicely. <laughs> yes, I did. But um, I adore him. Such a great person. I mean, you bring such a great energy when you come up here. Thank you. you are part, part of the earlier crowd, which I love because it's the part of the night I remember. And, um, you know, I just I'm excited you're here. So well, thank you. At my, at my age, I guess I come in early Make because sure speaking the mic. I come in early because <laughs> if you're in Silverville, uh, you know, when you get older, you want to go to bed at a certain time. Right? So Anthony is a New Englander. He's super fun. He's like old school. Anthony, tell us, you owned a bar one time. Yes, I was originally somewhat of a coffee shop converted into a yeah, bar. Yeah, it was, it was in the hood section club. of Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. That's where I'm originally from. Providence has some really good gay Oh, bars. yeah. It they was really a four story brick building I bought. It was right in the hood area, and I, I opened up a club. Area. And I opened up a club. It was a coffee house called the Brooklyn Coffee Tea House. Originally, I was going to call it the Brooklyn Coffee International uh, Coffee House, and I said, "Hmm, the acronym on that means bitch." <laughs> and I says, "I better not use that." You know, B I T C H. Again, wait, we need, we need to rewind <laughs> and go back on that one. So the acronym for the, the bar acronym, you were going to open yes, stood for uh, yeah, the B word. Brooklyn International Coffee Tea House. So I, said, I, love, I love that, actually. Yeah. Let's bring it so to I Wilmington. So I did that, and um, then I found out who I was. I was raised in an orphanage from birth until I was seven years old. And I didn't want to do anything because my, my adopted mother was still living. But when she died, I decided to do a film called Children of the Asylum. And it was based Children on, of the Asylum. Yeah, it was based on... I was raised in an asylum. And people say, you're raised in an like asylum. Like an orphanage was referred it was to called as an asylum. St. Vincent's Home for the Infant Saint Asylum. St. Vincent's, I think I've been there before. Yeah. It, what, what does asylum mean? I'm kind protection. of joking. That's not very nice. But it whatever. means protection. You know, foreign dignitaries seek it, but now the, they use asylum as a bad word. So I did a movie, a small film about the story of my life. And I got the bug like, in the film the industry. <laughs> no, no, I got the bug. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I got the bug it on happens doing to the best a, of us, you know. <laughs> I got the bug doing a film. Going in the film community. So I says, okay, maybe I'll start a film company. I did. In 2010, I, I, I created a film company called Rody Wood Films. Rody Wood, everyone. So here we go. Yeah, Rody Wood. This is why I really brought him on here because this is, you know, everybody knows this town is that, not even the hidden gem, but it was the screen gem, which is over there still. We're kind of worried, what's it going to do? Is it going to pop back off again? Bring the movies back. Bring the movies back. And, you know, I think with what happened with the bathroom stuff, I'm not even going to go into that right now. It's a whole other podcast. And then everything trickled down and moved into Atlanta, and then it's way too hot down there. And it's, well, not that it's hot here, but there's always something charming about Wilmington. So everybody that leaves here always wants to come back. It's so true. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, that's been me like 20 times growing up, going and coming back. But what was really cool was to have a place like this with the setting that we have. I mean, mm. everything from Southport with all the charming movies that they've done out there. And it's a great location yeah. here in uh, Wilmington. That's one of the reasons why I moved down. I was about 15 years in Rhode Island. And Ro Rhode Wood has 24 films groups across the United States, Canada, and Europe. So we, we're we basically not a film studio. We're a film where we allow people to post their announcements to all over the world. A good example, if you're over here in Wilmington and you're going to California, we have a Rhodey Wood California film group. I feel the quietness. What? <laughs> Why chop it out? Yeah, we're learning everybody. We're Why chop it out? Learning. I kind of like that. So, anyways, it's, okay. Sorry. I create. I created, now we're gonna sit up here and sweat. No, I, I created <laughs> Rody. I created Rody Wood, and I brought it here because we're like the incubators of the full box store films, like you said over here, where we have the big film companies. We have people grow up to the large films. So I've been doing that for many, many years. Oh, God, it's awful quiet in here now. Much better. Yeah. And I still do it. It's in my heart. Do you make a lot of money as an independent filmmaker? Not really, but you have a lot of fun. I'm sure the fun's there, but you know what? You need to enjoy what you're doing, I guess. But sometimes that shit gets expensive. And you're like, 
hey, we've got to have a return here. So yeah. getting these bigger companies that are willing to write the big checks, but the local ones are what really is the foundation and what you're doing right it now was. is so important to Wilmington. I had a studio here. I had the Wilmington, Rudy Wood Wilmington studio here, and then, of course, the COVID um, kicked it out because, you know, how many times can you pay a month and nobody's showing up? Well, so trust me, I know I'm, 15 months I'm up online. here. <laughs> but I'm doing now is something different. I'm looking for a gas station, an old abandoned gas station. Going to start something entirely different, but still in the film community, where people can bring their cars in, have a cup of coffee, and have a good time. So it's it's a new. I'm always doing. I'm always trying to invent Cutting something edge. new. Cutting You have it's to a trendsetter. You got to be a trendsetter. Yeah, you know that. I think a lot of them, like Fermental, has the gas station over there. Eagles Dares. You know, I had my own that location. Obviously, I knew it with the right amount of money to invest in something like that. Yeah. You know, you obviously you want to hope it's, good, but they're killing it over there. It looks every time I drive by there, it oh. looks like so much fun. Have you been there? I unfortunately love you, Joe. I just haven't yet. I'm stuck up here 90 percent of the time. But um, no, that brings me into like you know the downtown scene with. I just ran into a couple of my friends this afternoon that they all own bars downtown. So, yeah. which brings me to our next week's podcast, everybody. <laughs> I heard about We've that. We've got Mr. Misha coming on next oh, week. Oh, I know him. I know him. I think everybody knows him. But we need to talk about Rody Wood tonight. Yeah. Sorry, the problem with Rody Wood a lot of times is they they spam Rody Wood. They think it's well, bad. Well, Wilmy Wood too is a huge like that's what everybody called Wilmington forever. Right. Wilmy well, Wood, because it was like Hollywood, Southern style. Rody Wood, they, they think it's probably Morning Wood or something like that. I, I don't know what Wood. it is. If but I still they, get they, that, it's a good thing. They honestly do. They, they My block age, it. I'll, like, <laughs> you get one of those Morning Woods, you're like, yes, I still got it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, so what we do a lot of times is our young, inspiring filmmakers will come in. We go on site sometimes, and we help them out. I like behind the scenes. Because, I mean, I'm a little older than you. and Just a couple of years. Yeah, just just a couple of years. You know I'm a vampire, so I, mean, I, may, I may be older than you, actually. Quiet on the set. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, it's, uh, uh, you never get old behind the scene. There's a gratification. The only better gratification. You gratif- under the yeah. sheets? Yeah, I do. Okay. And the only better gratification I get is that I also do Roadie Wood uh, the theaters. There's something about a theater behind the scene. It's live. Uh, it's hot. It's so, it, so it might say hot, not temperature. It's 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 there. It's like the Birdman. Uh, Birdman was it? Did you see that movie, Birdman? Possibly. Yeah. Well, there's a bird right there. It's called ADD. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's I'm it's very hot jobs. though when you're when you're filming, and you're creating a city. A lot of times, you got to feed them. You got to provide transportation food and everything in between cars you got to get lodging for them so it's like building a city when you're doing a film oh my god you see all the the campers and they, they have oh, yeah. to get all the all the big things they have to get all the permits from the city people don't even think about that it's crazy because i it's it's so refreshing to start to see the um the filming come back over the years it's slowly but surely but a, you know big shout out to my buddy jonas pate i mean he's really yes They've gotten some pullback because of Wilmington and Charleston. But a lot of people don't know the the legalities behind all that before they make an assumption. I mean, he's done great, you know, doing it in South yes. Carolina and, yes. and out in Barbados. And they are coming this summer. So people know about it. It's I think what's happen. happening now with the airport now, it's got six more gates. A lot of times the filmmakers didn't want to come because they have to puddle jump. From yeah. one area to another, but now with the new six gates opening, there's a lot of uh, the traffic major is town is coming more to yeah. move around and get people in and out. Because a lot of celebrities that come in, like Wanda Sykes was here for the Wilson Center, she literally flew in the plane, boom, and then and she flew out. She was yeah. supposed to fly out, so I think she had more fun than she wanted to and spent another night. But I think but. part of getting actors in town is the the town itself. The town's lively here. Oh. There's always some, it's diverse. Once you come here, you will definitely be back. <laughs> and it's not corporate. Like I, I lived in Raleigh for a while, and oh, all the Raleigh. bars they may oh. look different, but they're all corporate. But here, so it's all far from pop. the ocean, that's the problem. Oh, it's, it's, I got to be close to the beach. But um, I, I love the fact that you went into like you did have a coffee shop that was a bar. Did you do drag shows? Did you do like yes, we did drag the, how shows. Gay did we get this? There was place? one scene we did. It was uh, what do they call those people when they. They prog each other. Uh, I can't think what they're oh, called. God, this is I exciting. can't think what they're called now. It's uh, well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did. It, they come in all dressed like up a, a certain like me. way. I want to. Well, anyways. Put some. Anyways, uh, so they come in 
and we had it was closed. We had a um, art show where people nude art, nude art. I love that was nude fine. art. I want to just go there and draw a little picture of somebody naked. I'm there. coming home because it's going on at nighttime, and on Douglas Avenue, it's never crowded. I mean, there's no traffic. Traffic backed up. What the hell is all traffic back up for? It's really ridiculous. No, you know what yeah. happened? They left like, the uh, they left the blinds open, <laughs> and she's right there, stock naked. And everybody's stopping and they're, she they're looking. She was getting a little sunburn. <laughs> I love naked people. Oh, so I do. It. I've been to Burning Man, Europe. Same oh, thing. God, <laughs> yeah. the Everybody story. loves being naked. And you don't even think about it anymore. Like here, be like, oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, so probably. It's always the ones that should put their clothes on that are naked. It's not well, like the ones you're like, yeah. They're like, you know, just enough. There's like just enough cover and just the spots. So you're like, take it off. Well, you've Just been to kidding. Providence. It's pretty unique yeah, in Providence. Yeah, I grew up, I told you I was born you, in New England. You were born there. I was raised in North Carolina. I grew up in Winnebago. Yeah. Went all the way from fifth grade in Bolivia to South Brunswick. But yeah, I, I was, my father died when I was nine. And mm-hmm. so we moved here. My mom met somebody that was a Southern gentleman. Well, I was raised in West Warwick, but then I got drafted in the 60s. So I was you active. Did? Oh, so yeah. So where did you go? <clears throat> well, I was uh, active Army, and then I... Got out of the Army and went active Navy, active CBs, and I retired out of the Air Force. I did almost 30 years. So I was, I was fine Y'all, with that. this is a veteran right here. I mean, there's yeah, another, this yeah. is what we do body, right here. Bring on the veterans. Yay. Hey. And the crowd roars. Woo! <sighs> and he was gay. It was even better. <laughs> it is even better. Yes. Well, that's another story, but we'll let that oh. one go. <laughs> so you've bought a house downtown. I bought two houses in Wilmington. And you're renovating them. I renovated them, which yes. Which is awesome, because you're just, everybody's making it pretty. Well, there was an attic, and, there was an attic, and I says, I popped my head up in the crawl space, and I look up and said, this can be a room. So I made a room out of it. I think one of my old bartenders actually did that for you. No, he didn't do that, no. he did the deck. Yeah, well, that's another story. Cut that, that out, too, shit. We'll let that I, one go. I, I'm getting deep over here. Yeah, so I did a lot of renovations on the house. <laughs> My body dance for ya. Uh, the house I've got. You got that stuck in bed. Sorry. The house I got is very old. It's got tin ceilings in the kitchen. I bought an old stove of a hundred years old, a cook stove. So I put that in there. Do you love it? I love it. The floors are dark um, pine. You can actually see through the floors because if you leave the light on down in the crawl space, you look and say, "Oh, I left the light on." You can see right Make sure through. Nobody's gonna grab your leg. <laughs> nobody's gonna grab it. Them ghosts will get you. It's called charm. Oh, I, I I know. You're it. a charmer. You are a charmer. But walking down the city, because our living room is small. We have a small cottage, but I have a second living room. And the second living room is the downtown. I walk out the door. That's my living room. It's just walk down, walk back. Sometimes I'll walk downtown and back three times during the, during the day. You're a wonderful man. I'm so I'm so lucky oh, to sit beside you. Oh, God. Here it goes. So good looking. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll just wait. Two years ago, we'll fake that one out. We'll cut, that, we'll cut that one. He's gonna be in the calendar for the penthouse next year, y'all. What I do is I leave early. When's so your birthday? June twentieth. All right, it's the June. Just had the be- As a matter of fact, I got a I got a bone got to a pick June with you. Birth- oh, here we go. I got a bone to pick with you. I always have bones to pick with people. Keep it clean. I invited you to my party here, even though it's your place. <laughs> I invited you to my party. You didn't show up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, well, I, I guess, I, guess okay. I have to have an explanation here. A little drama in the house tonight. Yeah, so, a little drama. Actually, everybody knows I, yes, I run this place. It's mine. I do the best I can to do what I can to make it what it is. But I also have an off site company where I make money and it's lucrative for me. It's called Jesse Davis Events. And so I have to go to work sometimes that it does uh-huh. not. Enabled me to be here. Oh, I thought you were stand. You were on the street. Uh, I was on the street. I was oh, out hooking. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh, I only fans next episode. <laughs> Cut Five that one out. Minutes. No. So honestly, I think a lot of people understand now at this point that I am not a Monday through Friday nine to five person. I am a, a nights, holidays, weekends person, and the days consist of me doing meetings for the events at night. So I don't have a day or night or. And I feel so bad because, like, I'm like we. I think I've spoken about this on other podcasts. I miss the kids' birthdays. I miss their baseball games. I miss some of my friends. You know, you know, baby reveals and things. I just, you know, I'm. It's it sucks to hear that, but it's it's good to hear it too because it's just like 
my friend Anna Marie, she's like, Jesse, she's like, why don't you just clone yourself? Or what's the other one? Oh, body double. Yes. Would you be my body double if I put a little... Yeah, put something on the top. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I don't have nothing on top. Anyways, it's... Wait, enough about me. This is your show. Man. No, it's I'm not just... my show. It's so a, it's I do want to ask you a couple eyes. more things. So... And I play around with stuff. You know, you and I got you and I got the same personality because I used to serve coffee, pastry, and attitude. You know, I served a lot of a lot of attitude. I only had I only had two kinds of sorry. Calm down. I only had two kinds of coffee. I will never get married ever in the world. Been there, done it, and then I flipped over. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just, uh, you yeah, know, I think I was in my 50s. My son, oh my, my, my son, uh, my, my son was 21 when he uh, came out too. So it was a, it was a Kodak moment. Yeah, we, we, we get along good. I enjoyed it a lot. I find it really awesome that we have the Wilson Center. We've got Thalian Hall. And we've got, you know, obviously screen gems, but I think going back to your passion for, you know, for for the film in, Wil in Wilmington, and we need more like you. We need more people that are more present, that are here. They all say, oh, I'm there and this and that. They're all over the place. But you literally live here. I mean, I know you don't own screen gems, but you know what? The fact that you're even plugging this Wilmington. I plug it. Uh, actors. People talk about Actors. things, but they don't do it. Don't, you better come be an actor. You be actor. Come, come get you. But people don't do anything. You and I, we create a business. That's right. Are we any richer For, than anybody else? Make me probably any money? Not. Probably not. <laughs> probably, we're probably not richer than anybody else, but we... Our hearts are full it's of gold. But I have a good time. I really do. I, I enjoy people. I come up here. I goof on everybody. Everybody. What do you love about the penthouse the most? I... I kind of like the people. I kind of like the, the atmosphere. Mixed crowd. It's, a, it's mixed. a mix. It's a mixed crowd. I'm the oldest, and I'm sure I'm the oldest that comes in here I most of the time. I my Miss Shirley. I shouldn't say that out loud. I had one that was stalking me from here. An old lady. And she's about fifty. She was she's stalking me after. Your nipples or something. Yeah, she. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She gets going. Uh, but there's nipple nice people. Pulling. Get there's that nice nipple people, pull. Yeah. And you, you know, have that's the thing about Wilmington is I have traveled. I mean, I've been all over the world. I was fortunate enough to be gay and single and have no children. And as I said, never been married, which is fine. Mr. Wherever, I probably ran him over by accident. But you know what? We're here. We love it. I love my son. He's, he's in the medical field. The other one is the youth basketball director for the USA Olympics. So if anybody's got Wait, let's go questions. back on this. The yeah, Olympics. if anybody's got questions about the USA wow. Olympics, he's, he's in it. So I actually do feel like I want to hear your opinion about something here. Like I grew up here, I moved away, moved back, moved away, whatever. Seeing Wilmington, the gay community sort of become what it is today and which I'm so excited because we have such a great welcoming gay culture here. I mean, we really do. I mean, I don't know what people say all over the country because I lived in L.A. and I was criticized like, oh, how was it for you living in the South as a gay boy Like, because you're super gay? I was like, I am super gay. I yeah. fucking love it. But The only thing I find about it is I was raised in a major city. So, you know, Providence has seven full-time gay yeah, guys. Yeah, such an, a, great, a great town to be gay in. But the problem I find here, not bad, is there's no clubs. We're People have. It. It seems wait, like wait, they, wait! Give Charles Carver some credit. Well, with the they got out. a little credit, but in general, you don't have too many. This much, you know, Just you kidding, don't. You Charles. Know. And and most of it, the parties of it at hey, people's God, houses. Oh, I can talk. If you, you talk about your friend with the dog. I can talk too. But anyways, I think sometimes in the South, maybe not in Wilmington. If somebody's coming out, they come out. But in the South, sometimes they don't come out of the closet. They open the louvers. They don't, they don't come out. It, maybe it was a, I guess, what's the word I want to use? A Bible country? Yeah, well, at one the, time. The, too, the, the Baptist, ba the, yeah. blah, 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 yes, the Baptist Bible Belt. And, you know, I ain't hating on anybody, but, you know, I, am I grew up in Winneba in a Methodist church, and that was amazing. And there's all these little, like, now, now we have downtown full of all these little districts and this yeah. pod and this and that, this district, this district. I'm like, okay, New York was like boroughs. I get they were very large. 
district. I'm like, okay, you're in another district. It was right across the street. We have all these little districts. I'm trying to figure out which one's going to be the gay one because I well, want to I'm going to open up there. a gay bar. I'm looking to open up one. Oh, God, please. And in the please. gas station, it's going to be. I love it. It's going to be called Rody Wood Station. Okay. Are we allowed to talk about this out loud? You can talk about it all you want. All right, guys, care. girls, ladies. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. LGBTQ. You know, they got too many acronyms now. Oh, I mean, everybody's got to have a letter now. We're I mean, really going to open a can of worms <laughs> with this one. Oh, my God. Good. I can't wait. What a great person to have this conversation with everyone. Well. So, yes, I, I, I think I was born this way, as Lady Gaga said a long time ago. And I don't really feel like I need to have this big charade every time I say I'm gay. You know, it's like... Yeah, they have to raise the from flag. From your culture, from you. Like, okay, I don't want to blow up your spot with your age, but you're past 50 or 60. Yeah. Maybe not even quite 70, right? He's <laughs> knocking on 68 or whatever. I'll give you some credit. So, <laughs> no, but to be like in your cultural era... It was tough. Being a homosexual man... I was part of... Uh, used to go into Stonewall. The New York. In the 70s in New York. The original. To, the original. And I used to go to Basin Street East. And I used to see a lot of actors on there. See, see, New York are very antiseptic now. You know, the street, though, I got lost a couple of times because I was looking for that place. And you have to go down these stairs. Yes, you do. And I'm really, like, scared about going into tunnels. Well, so I, have you been no, to the... I went there and I lost my virginity. Have you it's been amazing. down to Times Square lately? Just kidding. You've been that down there? a long time before that. Yeah. You've been to Times Square le- lately? No. It used to be uh, in the scary. 70s and 80s, it was neons. All kind of neon Scott lights. It's really nice. But now, all they got is television sets in front of a building. They're all TV sets, flat screens. All technology. Everybody looks at it like, gah, goo. Where, I'm used to the combat zone oh, when gosh. they had some roughage. A little roughage is good. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, people are too antiseptic today. Yes. And I feel bad for the younger generation that's way out there in the audience. Yeah. Well, you know what? We, I, I, if you don't like me, don't listen to this. That's right. I don't need anybody's pat on the back. I do what I want and I say what I want. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I got these boys help me with this. I got great people like you coming around yeah. here to like make this happen. And you know what? At this point, it's just like live your life. What you do in your bedroom is your own business. Who you want to get on and yeah. bang around with or identify and, you know. All right. So all the time you've been a member here. What's your favorite moment that you've had with David? David, I love, I love David Jolly, by the oh, way. He I couldn't did. be here tonight. You had a customer. It was a birthday party, and she was drunk as a skunk, <laughs> and she's beautiful. hanging on me. And all of a sudden, her husband comes, and I'm going, oh, my God, I'm in trouble. She's just hanging on me, necking me and everything else. And all he says, oh, she does that all the time. <laughs> oh, does she have the curly hair? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Was he bald? No, he's good looking. Okay. I, w- well, I would have taken him myself. Though. I would have taken him myself. This doesn't mean he's not cute. I like bald guys. Well, I, mean, I, was, I wanted to take him right. home. Leave her. Don't yeah. have like one piece of hair flinging in the wind. You yeah. know, it's never a good thing. You ever seen those? They're just holding on every. And little then bit. the the owner of the place sometimes. The owner. I have fun with him. Gosh, that that penthouse owner. I swear, oh. what the hell is wrong with? I don't know. They. I don't. I can't say it on podcast, so I won't. But. Uh, yeah, he's, you can he's, let it rip up here. I don't yeah, know. I, I, I'm only doing the podcast. I don't know the owner. I heard he's a yeah. Little he humps on the bar work. once in a while. Gets up in the bar, stands yeah, up, and right. the glasses go flying. And glasses you know, it just add, broken, it adds to you know? it. Yeah, it adds a little flair. I'll to introduce the, you to him sometime. Okay. He only comes down from his um, college. Perch. Yeah. What do you call that thing? They, they, the bats. They hang upside down. Yeah, the perch. Perch. It's on top of the building right here. Yeah. Okay. We got company. So what do we have coming What do we have right coming in as a guest here? Who is our newest this new guest? Well, Hi, how it, are it you? It is not he is. the most famous man uh, in oh, downtown Wilmington. Oh, yes, here he is. There is nobody better than this one. Oh. I mean, don't say it. Stay right there. You have to stay there. Uh, is the lighting, are we ready? Lighting's good, everything. So I'd like to, first of all, go into, um, put, it, put it up. It's all right, all the way. All right. And uh, how is it? Does it look on your phone? It, does it look too sharp? Yeah. I mean, okay. So I've had this place going on, I don't know, six, seven years. Yeah. You know, there is always this camaraderie downtown where you don't know if you're going to butt heads with their bar owners. You don't know if they're going to like you or their concepts are going to clash or whatever it could possibly be because we're in the ever-changing world of business. So whether you're 
commercial space, we know what that means. Whether yeah. you're a uh, residential space, we know what that means. But this building, everybody thinks I live here. Everybody thinks I live here. Because it looks like a home, too. Never, well, That's we, another we thing I like about it. It has a very, has a very cozy Tom. look. We designed this to feel like a penthouse suite without a bed. I mean, I can screw on the floor if I want to, but, you know, it's just one of those things. I like the bathroom, though. Okay, everybody loves the bathroom. We love the bathroom. I swear to God, I want to, like, kill people. I'm like, get out of my bathroom. There is a bidet. How come How come a guy goes in a bathroom, it's fine, one guy, but a girl, they have to bring oh, five or go. six. How the heck can this somebody go to good. the bathroom with five girls in the bathroom? I mean, I, I don't understand that. I mean... Well, you know what? It's the times are changing. I mean, yeah, I'm sure now it is. it's getting confusing for me. It's getting confusing for me to go into bathrooms or have conversations with people at parties that corner me and ask me about being gay. It's sort of annoying. I'm like, okay, like I'm gay. I'm a man. I like men. It's yeah. pretty it's pretty streamlined. And yeah, I'm a little kinky, whatever, when it comes to it. But like so you know what? Like Anthony's awesome. He's from a different generation. You started you actually started gay coffee shops i mean I basically i don't care what anybody says i did know of somebody from los angeles that thought he did that but i think you actually sort of um, i kind of created in providence i paved the way and you're you're like me a lot of times people used to come to the brooklyn coffee house to see me i was the entertainer and i had to break that sometimes because they would come only to see me and, and when you're not there, you're not, you're not there. You're not making any Which money. Which brings me to my next guest yes. who understands our pain. <laughs> so you understand we what do. If we're not there, we don't make any, not any money, but like people expect to see us there. They want us to like, we are the brand in a way. Maybe you, you have know? to put a video of yourself on the screen. Well, I thought about just cutouts for all of you. I just had like sitting there with like a cutout. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so... To wrap this up, I want to thank Anthony Demings thank for coming up here today. Um, we're having a lot of fun with this podcast, and it's just going to get better and better. But I want you to plug some of your people, some of your friends, your partner especially. Is there anything you else you'd like to say? Or no, I think it's um, it's very friendly up here. Um, there's a lot of safety here. There's an outstanding security downstairs, which makes the place feel Scotchy. more <laughs> real. No, seriously, Scott. I mean. I know makes the place feel very comfortable. If you, I feel safe up here. Don't forget, you're on the ninth floor. I mean, there's not too many places to go when you're on the ninth floor. You, you do, so you feel very, very comfortable coming in and going out. Um, you created a safe space. And anywhere you, you go, you gotta be careful today. You know, we have, we've, I think we've all um, sort of made sure that our staff always gets walked to their cars. I mean, we don't just f let people out in the street. I mean, my business alone, we close at one o'clock just maybe for that reason. Cause you know, like we're not a pull up and drop off place. Like I don't have a place you can just, you know, if there's a fight, you can just drag them out. Like we got to get them in the elevator. We got to get them down. the. F it's not fun. No, it's not fun. And there's a lot of people that just frivolously get stupid and drop shit and break stuff and disrespect and, you, and, you and steal things. That you tune the bartenders up too. You have good bartenders. Oh, every now and then we have to purge like everything else. Uh, well, they all come and go their own They come own and ways. go their own way. And it's nothing like Jared's going to law school. I love yeah, him. I heard He's about that. He's been a great yeah. asset to the penthouse for a long time. And, you know, Eva, she's so busy with work and... And, you know, I'm proud of her. And But, we're you know, we're bringing in some newbies and they're all really sweet and they come from good families that I always kind of, I just want to make sure that when you come up here, you're going to feel warm and welcomed. And whether I'm here or not, which like you said, that's what happens is we get in this position where Misha, you, myself, Lindsay, Eli, like we all, if we're not there, people are like, okay, let's go. Okay, there's go a hundred other bars down here to go to where you feel completely like welcome. So I can't thank you enough for coming on today. Thank you very Where's much. Our Appreciate Rodeo it. Sign? Oh, where it's right it? there. Okay. So I want y'all to, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you plug, like give your like Instagrams and your websites. And all that okay. Stuff. Well, Rodeo Wood, I guess the sign is right over there. How Rodeo Wood came into being, if you notice, is our. It's R H O D Y W O O D. Oh, what a model. <laughs> anyway, Ro Rhodey means Ro Rhode Island. Uh, and then Wood is a synopsis. Don't, don't, I don't want to cut your weed. It's all right. Of this and it's a synopsis there of. Is. Okay. Well, and it's an independent film company. And why I say it's independent? Because the Rhode Island has on the state capitol, it has an independence man on there. So 
That's how I got the word Rody. That's how I got the word Rody Wood. And what are you when you're an independent filmmaker? You carry well, everything. <laughs> you're a, you're a roadie, and a roadie does everything. So Rody Wood. It's a registered trademark name, national and international. Love you too. Anyways, it is. It's uh, Rody Wood at Yahoo.com. R H O D Y. Oh, what a sweet man right here. W O O D. Dot com. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.